Morning and win forever in Jesus' mighty name. Keep on winning, children of God. People of grace, you have to win. Your Father has given you authority to win. Keep on winning, people of grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, win when you go out, win when you come in. In Jesus' mighty name, win in every area of your life because your Father is with you. When you declare that I shall win every day and I will continue to win, you will win. But if you doubt it, it won't manifest. We have to learn to declare positively in whatever we want God to give it to us. Keep on winning. You will win because your father loves you. Your father didn't create you to suffer. So you have to win in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who didn't yet subscribe, please subscribe so that you can assist us to take the word of God further and further in the mighty name in order to please our Father by doing the work that he expects us to do. Keep on winning, people of grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit, protect them. Let's pray. Protect them, Holy Spirit. Thank you for protecting them. Thank you to protect them now and forever. Thank you for protecting their families. Thank you, Lord, for waking in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us patience. Yes, and to wait upon you. Thank you, Lord, while you are busy, changing our heart to teach and to guide us to know patience. Patient in every area of our lives. And thank you, Lord, to teach us to cast all our problems and believe that you'll perfect it. We will never doubt that. We know that you are everything to us and you'll perfect it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit, we love you. We adore you. We will keep on winning because, winning because of your love. And Father, give us strength to read the word to meditate, remind us to meditate, Lord. Meditation is not easy, but remind us, Lord, constantly that we have to meditate in order to conquer darkness. Thank you, Jesus, for the preparation that you are preparing us for higher levels. In Jesus' mighty name, and I pray, Lord, for all our children that are committed, Lord, on helping the church, on helping the channel, on doing whatever they are doing. Father, continue, Lord, to help them more and more. In Jesus' mighty name, may you release more where it comes from, whatever they do to help their church. Thank you, Jesus, to help this channel when you give them that thought. Father, bless them in their houses. Bless them where it comes from. Bless whatever they are doing. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Because, Father, I regard them as partners of this church. Because, Father, you chose in their hearts. Father, bless them. They know themselves. Bless them and lift them high and high because you are God. Father, the little that they give, Father, it helps a lot. Father, because it has been saved to do more, to recreate the space for you. A altar that is big, a altar that, Father, won't struggle in doing a church and doing all what you expect us to do. Thank you, Jesus, for the love and mercy. Let your finger not depart them. Let your hands not depart them. Them and their families and their children. Let the breakthrough fill them. In Jesus' mighty name. Hence we read this word, Lord, Father. Open our heart to, in Father, connect with our holy way. So that, Father, we can believe when you have spoken, you have spoken because you are everything and you created us. Oh, our God, Lord and Savior, Holy Spirit, Spirit of the truth, we love you. We adore you. Continue to perfect and block every plan of the wicked. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we love you. People of grace, you are welcome. You are welcome again. The book of Micah 6, sorry, Micah 5, that we have been given. 
Micah 5. A book of Micah, uh, people of, God, of grace, it speaks about the coming of Lord, the final days of the last days of our Father to come and create everything. Yes, to change the world, to change and make the way He want this world to be. That is how the book of Micah, Micah is speaking about. When we read where we're given is Micah 5, if you check from verse 4, he's speaking about the last days, what will happen. So you people of grace, from we'll be reading verse 5, you'll start from verse 10, from verse 10 until verse 15. Verse 10 to 15, yes, Micah 5, verse 10 to 15. That is what Father God is declaring what he will be doing on the last days. Pardon me. On the last days, he said, I will never, he will never play shame. He will destroy he will destroy, he will perfect it. If you check on the book of Micah for pray, a, a, a page prior five, before page five, it talk about the mountain that will create. That mountain of the Lord, it will be only me and you that will be sitting there with him. There will be this mountain that only the righteous one that will be staying there. And because me and you, we acknowledge our sins and weaknesses, we will go there and see, and sit with him in that holy hill. People will be inviting others that let's go to the mountain of the Lord because it will be so unique. It will be so nice. That's what, what will happen on the last day after everything has been destroyed. Father God will create that holy mountain. So people of God, we will read Micah 5 from verse 10 to 15 on our own. And hear what Father God will do to all the wicked. What he will do while he's busy perfecting. When on his last days. Yes, children of God. On during that last days. So you'll read, open your heart, read slowly, attentively. And open your heart and repeat it. You will understand it from verse 10 until verse 15. Micah 5. In Jesus' mighty name, that is it, children of God. You will read and slowly and repeatedly. So that you must know all God's plan in Jesus' mighty name. So just do it like that, people of grace. May God bless you. While you are reading, in Jesus' mighty name, it was the daily devotion of today. Then let's pray. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. You will touch where you want to touch. My Father, my Lord, here are your children. Father, we are in your presence. We are in your presence. Let it rain, Lord. Touch and let it rain. Father, touch us. Remove, perfect, uproot in your mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uproot, disconnect the plans of the wicked one. That plans that he put, the children of God that he attached them. When they go out from the houses, when they drive to work and come back, when they were busy moving in the yard, that evil satanic evil forces, that attack the children of God. Let it be broken by the power of the ghost. Let it be disconnected and release them. They shall never carry it when they sleep. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, I render those attacked spirits hidden in their bodies, hidden from the head to the toes, sole of the feet, on the toes, 
on the lakes where they enter. I render them powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I disconnect the plan. They enter, Father Lord, during the day, knowing that when it's from 10, 11, 12 in those times, and 1 up to 3 o'clock, they will be manipulating their brain. They will giving them scary dreams, nightmares. They will even doing more astral projection to them, to take their soul from their body. It shall never happen in Jesus' mighty name. Every wicked attached spirit that has connected to them, and the brain, the left eyes, and the pancreas, the body flu system. Be flushed out by the body. Be flushed out by the power of the ghost. In every part of the body, come out. Be destroyed. Be wiped out. I pull all your roots of darkness and wickedness. Get out in that body flu system. Come out from their body. Be uprooted. We have been given authority. We have authority to plant, uproot and plant. We have authority to disconnect, to break you, to walk even on top of you on scorpion spiders. You are nothing. By the authority in the mighty name of Jesus, we crush you down. My Father, my Lord, make your legs and the hands of the children of God to be badly eggs of fire. Where they pass, where the snare and all the traps, let it be crushed out by the power of the ghost. Where they touch, where there are traps and snare, let it be destroyed and be cut into pieces. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the light of God follow them. I release the light of God. I declare breakthrough. Breakthrough, I declare to them every day, Lord, until they receive. Breakthrough from those doors, the stores, the storehouses, the archives of strongholds, strong men, strong women, darkness, witchcraft, where they stole all the goods of the children of God and put them inside the rivers. Be uprooted, be located. We take it back and release it to the children of God. That the battle goes. We go to the rivers and possess every goods of a child of God that was stolen by darkness. Let them receive all their goods. Receive your goods. Receive everything about you. That was hidden in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The storehouses where they hidden. All their finances. Blocking and bondage. Causing bondages to all their breakthrough. Be broken I release them. In the powerful name of Jesus, let those wicked evil archives be said to the files of ghosts, be banned by the finger of God, and be destroyed permanently. It shall never happen in the life and the future of a child of God. I render you powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, I pray for your children to see their enemies through dreams of dreams. Through you, Lord, speaking in the heart to Father Lord to warn them. To warn them from the enemy. When the enemy approach them, when the enemy want to speak with them, when the enemy pretend to be a friend, Holy Father, warn them through the heart, Holy Father. Warn them through dreams in the powerful name of Jesus. The enemy just come to kill, steal, and distract. They shall know them, Lord Jesus. Before they even father be exposed. Expose the enemy to them. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ. While we render the enemies that are tormenting the children of God. Pretending to be friends. Pretending to be nice and good to them. Whereas they are luring them to darkness. I break that plan of the enemy. I disconnect all the end of the enemy. I paralyze it and throw them in the pit of hell and let them be caged by the great angel of God, Michael. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Holy Father, speak and connect in the heart to warn them where they set their feet, where they walk, where they eat. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, speak in their heart to warn them what to eat. Holy Father, so that, Lord, they can no more to descend and they can further benefit from all the wisdom and understanding that you give it to them. In the powerful name of Jesus, any plan of the enemy to torment the children of the children of God, 
They are children. Father, that wicked evil plan. I burn it by the call of fire. I disconnect it. Get out. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Let the light of God fill your children's children. Let the light of God move wherever they move. Let the power of the ghost fill them. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I declare breakthrough. Breakthrough in whatever they do. Father, Release that destiny, help us, Lord. Father, I ban every evil veil that they hide their faces to be recognized. Be banned by the thunder of the ghost, you wicked evil veil in their faces. Be banned by the thunder of the ghost, you wicked evil veil in their faces. Be destroyed, become ashes, you wicked veil in their faces to hide them, not to get all uh, favor. I declare favor to the children of God. I declare breakthrough. I declare favor to the children of God. You vain. You are banned to ashes. You are irreparable. Thank you, Jesus, for destroying evil vain from your children's face. In the powerful name of Jesus, let them receive their prosperity. Prosperity and destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We get a tight spirit hiding in our offices where they move. Receive the thunderbolts of heaven. Be destroyed in the powerful name of Jesus. When the enemy puts something in their offices while they are sleeping, try to contaminate and deposit their wickedness. Let them see it when they sleep, Lord. Reveal it to your children, Lord. For I wash the eyes to see invisible and visible things. To see the plan of the enemy. Let them receive their breath, Lord. Let Father help them to dominate more in their lives, Lord Jesus. Take more of them and give them more of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, dominate more in their lives. So that they can unify all the powers. The powers of darkness. The evil spirit. Fall down and burn by the blood of Jesus. Whether they are operating on the earth. Those wicked monitoring spirits. Receive the call of fire in your eyes. Be burned in your eyes. Become blind. Be paralyzed with wicked evil hands. That will torment the children of God. Let your wicked evil hands rot and rot and be paralyzed. And you will pray that you will never die. So that you can see the glory of our Father. Operating in the children of God. It will manifest the glory of God. In Jesus mighty name. Let your spiritual life be revived by the power of the ghost. Spiritual life be revived by the hand of Father. Spiritual uh, life of the children of God. Resurrect when you are dead. In Jesus mighty name. Father lead them Lord. Wherever they touch. Father. Remove those straps Lord. The hands and the legs. Holy Father. Destroy it in their tools. Their legs. That wicked evil. Evil wound. Where Satan has opened with his necks. In order to, con to connect with them. Let it be broken by the power of the ghost. Let it be destroyed by the light of God. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Protect them Lord. Their rooms. When they go to sleep. Let the light and the blood fill their rooms. The power of the ghost fill their rooms. Darkness spirits operating in the ceiling, the walls, the foundation. Let it be exposed and burn and die. There are pipes in the bathrooms, the kitchen. Where the enemy use water as marine spirit to connect. Marine spirit be broken, be paralyzed by the blood of Jesus. I soak their blankets with the blood and fire. Father, the pillar of fire to protect them. Protect our children. Protect us and our families. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Ebenezer, for your will is done. And soak them with the blood. And Father, for they believe that you are God.
and give them strength, Lord, in whatever they do. Father, when they are weak, let them become strong, my Father. Revive them when they are weak. Father, enhance their hope. Enhance their trust. Father, let them wait upon you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We thank you, Lord. We adore you, Holy Spirit. We adore you, the great of heaven and earth. We adore you, mighty living God, the healer, the restorer, the redeemer, the liberator, the fortifier, Jesus Christ, who gave us salvation. We love you, Lord, and we salute you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. May Father God bless you and protect you further. In Jesus' mighty name, as we busy, pray and wait upon him. Do not forget to meditate and, as I said prior, if you don't know, start by calling the blood or the fire or any verse of the Bible that you know, repeat it in your heart. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm sorry. May God bless you and protect you further. May he lead you. Wherever you go, let him, uh, his feathers hide him. Then let his feathers hide you so that no evil can come to him and try to come to near him because he is God. No darkness, no demon, no whatever spirit will come near you when you are hidden under the feathers of his wings. When you go out, be hidden under his wings. When you sleep, let your blankets become his feathers of the wings so that you can be protected from the hand of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name. Shalom and be blessed. Mama Ruth is still love you. I adore you. I'm still praying for you. May God bless you. Yes. Tomorrow I'll announce the fasting days. Our fasting for this month, children of God. It will be three days and it will be, we are starting, uh, we are practicing how to do a uh, dry fasting. Our dry fasting is when you wake up, you don't drink any water, nothing in the mouth. So we'll be doing that uh, because we are starting for only a few hours. When you do dry fasting, you do for for less than 12 hours you must do less than 12 hours but we won't be doing 12 hours because we'll be starting at six seven uh from six you don't drink anything if you want to drink water drink <laughs> at five <laughs> like when you eat your food so you'll be drinking water at five from six no water uh, then no water no from six no water Nothing, no juice, no nothing, no tea. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then twelve midday. After twelve, from five past twelve, you can drink your water. We are done with the fasting. We will be done like that. So it will be three days we'll be doing that. No water from when you wake up. Uh, uh, from 6 until 12 o'clock midday. You'll be eating from 12 or 1 or whatever time you start uh, breaking your, your dry fasting. But those who are used to dry fasting, they know when they can break. Sometimes they pull up to 3 o'clock instead of 12. That's where we're supposed to uh, finish at 3. So I don't want to kill you. You have just started with you, who, until you are strong enough. Well, remember there are people who are breastfeeding. So those who are breastfeeding, you cannot at all. This one you'll excuse us because dry fasting, we cannot say eat water, drink water during the fasting. No, you won't. So you'll be just excusing us. You'll join us next time. So dry fasting and dry fasting attracts God a lot. So prepare for it. It's only a few hours from 6 to 12 midday. After 12, until late, then you are finished with your fasting. Until the following day, you do like that for three days, 6 to 12. May God bless you as we prepare. I'll give you the date by Friday or tomorrow when we are starting because it will be next week. God bless you. And don't even ask why next week so early is the will of God. I will tell you later why. Yes, it's the will of God. So 
May God bless you and shalom. You are highly favored by God. And Mama Ruth, I love you.